That's all you are now. <laughs> Wait! Pose for the camera now, Flick. Hey everybody, it's Paige here again, this time with a quarantine makeup beat. If you want to see how I got this look, stay tuned. So we're all quarantined to our homes. I don't know where you currently live in America or across the world, but um, here in Michigan, we are stuck in our homes for three weeks. So me and my roommates were all working from home today. That's why you see them in the background. All in our own element. I thought it was pretty dope to capture, which is why I set up here today. So I'm just finishing my brows. I will have a full brow tutorial coming soon. I kind of skipped through most of it today because, um, I mean, you've seen me do it a few times and I just, you know, don't, I want to get to the meat, okay? The meat and the potatoes. Okay. Speaking of meat and potatoes, have y'all been eating during this quarantine? I'm about to gain the quarantine 15. Let me let me keep going. So now we're moving on to the eyeshadow. I'm using a concealer just to uh, base my lids with. This is the Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer by NYX. Um, I'll leave the color down below because it is currently not in front of me. Um, but I'm just blending that out with a big fluffy brush. I'm going to be using the Sarcastic Too Much eyeshadow palette today, which is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now we're going to take this muted burgundy color with a uh, fluffy brush. I'm going to apply that right to my crease. This is one of my favorite colors. I use it all the time. You'll see me use it a million times on this channel. Um, after that is blended, I'm going to go into the shimmery pink in that palette and I'm going to apply it all over my lid. Now I'm going back into that burgundy color to blend out the pink and then I'm going to apply these pretty basic lashes. Before I apply them though, I am going to do some color correcting so any dark spots that I have, I'm going to just pop on this MAC color corrector. So. I'm not about to hold y'all up. I had the hardest time putting these lashes on. Oh my God. It, I don't know if it was my nails, if it's because I have the extensions on underneath. It just, it wasn't working. So just be patient while I figure it out. So now I'm going into my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. As a primer, I'm gonna apply this all over. Um, I'm gonna blend and then I'm gonna kind of press it into my skin. Wait for it. Got to be more careful, girl. How you slap yourself? Anyway, yeah, I really don't know how she did that, but I'm so happy that I caught it on camera. So anyway, I'm going into my Fenty beauty foundation this is the pro filter foundation which i love i'm so glad she came out with the shade extensions because this is the most perfect foundation shade for me in the whole world so i love it so i'm gonna apply this all over stipple it and then i'm gonna blend it out with my beauty blender So I'm applying the LA Girl Pro Concealer and also the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop with my Beauty Blender. I'm going to just tap that in until it's blended to my liking. We're gonna set all the highlighted places with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Y'all already know how this goes. I love this stuff.
I'm also gonna set my brows with the powder. I've been doing this for about three, maybe about four months now, and I love it. Um, I'm gonna just brush through my brow or lashes since I do have the extensions. I just wanna make sure that everything is blended. I'm not gonna put mascara on, so I'm just gonna blend everything with that spoolie wand. So now I'm using this fast face um, system. I'm using the contour shade and also the face powder together to use as my contour shade. I love the fast face system, it's super convenient. Um, today I'm using those colors, so just to contour my face. And then I'm gonna also use the blush and the highlighter in that palette. You'll see me do just a little bit later. So now I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me face powder to dust off the extra translucent powder and then I'm going to also set my face. In combination with this powder, I'm going to use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. Just because I didn't want a completely flat matte look, I wanted just a little bit of a natural glow as the day went on. Now I'm breaking back into the Lip Bars Fast Face Palette and I'm going to use that peachy corally blush on my cheeks which I love and this highlighter honey you'll see in a second it's perfect okay I don't need no other this is the one for me I have found the one which my heart adores is this look at that I ain't gonna say no I'm gonna just let y'all watch just watch Now I'm going into my favorite lip liner, which is Cork by MAC. When I'm doing a nude lip, this is my, my favorite liner. So I'm gonna apply this all over my lips. I'm gonna slightly overdraw at the top, and then I'm gonna blend it out before using my favorite gloss. kidding I'm going right back into that sarcastic eyeshadow palette I forgot that I wanted to add the yellow to my tear duct just as a pop of color so I did wet my brush just to make sure I get the most bang for my buck in terms of color saturation so that's what I'm doing now and then I'm gonna put on my gloss let me just let me let me just tell y'all about this gloss okay look just watch look look at that I am so obsessed with this lip gloss. This is one of the new lip glosses from Fenty. This is the shade Sweet Mouth, and it's my favorite. Like, I wear it every day. I try not to because I want it to be special, but I just love it so, isn't it? Look how pretty it is. So at this point, I was trying to decide if I wanted to do bottom liner. I did decide to go ahead and do it, and then I'm gonna smudge out that um, crease color on my bottom lid as well. I set my face and the look is complete. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't y'all just love my ponytail? This is that deceit hair coming back to life from like a year and a half ago. Look at it. It's so cute. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, you better shine. Bye.